don't you see me in the hood, all you gotta do is this. Just holla at me, 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 just holla at me. So all we do is get money, sun it rain, earthquake or tsunami, trap game tight, ain't no taking it from me, ballin' boy, pullin' them honeys, they love them twenties and fitties and hundreds, getting them hard like bunches and bunches, who that nigga you know it's me, D, U, B, B, C, what you niggas just trying to do, been seven out of a boat like Christ already, and I met it again, not to bite cut, but I feel one ten, roll up so loud and poke in the chin, me and my kid, we do it big, you want it, we got it, you need it, we got it, just name 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 it, what up, everybody? Welcome to Just Holler At Me Web Edition. I know you've been missing us, but we back in full effect, and we're going to do our thing like we like we ain't ever done it before, basically. Uh, right now, we're at the Arbor Glen Outreach Center, helping out. You know, we always in the hood. Right now, we over off Clanton on the west side. You know what I'm saying? We might as well help out while we're here. So we're here to help out with the youth and meeting the, the football players and raising some money so we can get back to the libraries and all of that stuff and help to educate our youth out here and so they can grow up and be somebody, do something with themselves, and get out of here, basically. Uh, but I also got a new partner in crime. I wanted to introduce you to her. Her name is Tina Marie. She's going to be hosting the show. And I'm going to pass the microphone so that she can tell you a little bit about herself. Hi, little. Hey, my name is Tina Marie. Thanks, Ira. My name is Tina Marie. You can reach me at thatsteenmarie.com. It consists of entertainment and travel. I also have my own magazine, Egotistic Magazine, which consists of entertainment and travel. So, for all your latest gossip, for all the hottest events, go to thatstinamarie.com. And I'm glad I teamed up with Ira from Just Holla at Me. Also, for traveling, Wilson Secret Travels. <laughs> Thank you. There it is. There it is. So don't forget to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, all of that stuff. You'll see it on the bottom of the screen. You know, her information as well. Marie, and that's how we do it. <laughs> Today I have with me Gary Barnage from the Carolina Panthers. What num your number? 82. 82. How does it feel to be out here um, working with the community, doing stuff for the community? It's great to get back to the community. You got to get back to the youth. You got to keep getting back to the community and just keep doing everything for them. Okay. And so what else are you doing for the community? Everything that's giving a help creating child mentoring programs, helping doing after school activities and doing like golf outings and football camps, stuff like that. Say if somebody, one of these youth out here wanting to be a football player, what did, what did it take for you to get to where you're at? It takes a lot of hard work and dedication. You can't worry about anything off the field. You can't have any off field issues. You got to be focusing on your schoolwork, uh, your life. You got to keep everything in order. You can't be getting in trouble. You got to be focusing on your on football or whatever sport you want to play or whatever you want to do. You got to focus on that one thing. Um, what was your favorite subject in school, just in case kids want to know? Uh, Egyptian history. Oh. I have never heard <laughs> of that before. <laughs> okay, right now I have with me Tyrell Sutton. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, so, how does it feel to be out here once again working with the community? Oh, it feels good. It's always a good thing to come out and support the youth, you know, just to be able to give back and, you know, and to help the, the younger generation, you know, do everything they can to, to have a successful life. Okay, and so what else have you been doing in the community? Uh, I've been doing everything possible. You know, I don't have a foundation myself, but anything that my teammates ask me to do, I'm, I'm usually at their charity events. I was at uh, Thomas Davis's charity events uh, about last week, two weeks ago, so I, I pretty much do anything that uh, Carolina Panthers ask me to do. Okay, and um, how fast do you run a 40? <laughs> Not fast. Not fast at all. I'm efficient. We'll say that. How about that? <laughs> this is Tina Marie, 
and right now I have with me Mackenzie from Bernardo. the Carolina Panthers. Hold on, what's the last name again? Bernardo. And what position do you play? Offensive line, number 73. Okay, so, and you went to what school now? I went to Bentley University, small D2 school west of Boston. And I know when I was in high school, I mean in college, it was like kind of hard for me to like stay focused. Like how would you tell people to, like young kids, how would you, what, what's the best advice that you would give somebody to stay focused in school? The best advice I give to anybody is just focus on the, the goals that you set and you'll be fine. Like, you know, there's a lot of things that you're going to come and come cross path that, you know, might interrupt you, but if you got your goals you want to set forth, just focus on your goals and everything else comes through. You just stay focused, hard work, and dedication. Hey, this is Tina Marie. I'm here with JustHollyMe.com. Today we have with us Miss Lachey Fortin. And she was the one that put this whole thing together. We're here at the Arbor Glen Center. So tell us, how did you put this together? Like, Well, that, basically what happened is um, Miss Tamika Avi, she's my cousin, um, she's my family. She's been doing this thing in, in Jackson, Mississippi for a long time now. And she had a relationship with Mr. Gary Barnage of the Carolina Panthers to really come together and do something in Charlotte. You know, she wants to reach to anybody that she can not only from Mississippi, but anywhere locally from where we are, from wherever she can reach out to. So um, this benefit really is her, her manpower. That's Miss Tamika Ivy. Thank you so much. Hi, Miss Tamika. How do you feel about this event? wonderful about this event. I mean, um, Gary Barnage is a wonderful person. He's a wonderful player. Um, the connection is his father is originally from Mississippi. And so I met Gary and his wonderful family and he wanted to help out. And he also wanted to help out the youth here in Charlotte because this is where he plays. So we partnered with Positive Youth Transformation to bring this event to the community and to just raise money for youth programs and also Mecklenburg County Public Library because they're shutting a lot of doors and we want to try to help to keep them open. And hopefully and uh, we're going to do this every year, once a year. So around this time, be looking for this event. And Gary is just going to get bigger and big, bigger. Gary is a wonderful person, and he was able to bring Tyrell Sutton out and Mackenzie. And so it's just going to get bigger and bigger from here now. It's me, Tina Marie, and today we have with us... Uh, Stephen L. Smith, Jr. And... And Lester Walls. Okay, and what, what are y'all's parts in this fundraiser? Well, uh, my name is Steve Smith, as I said, but I'm the founder and creator of Understanding Incorporated. Ever since Katrina, I've been trying to help anybody in need. I help the homeless, uh, impoverished youth, in prison youth. I try to help them get their GEDs and have them college bound. Our kids are our future, and we got to save that. I'm tired of a lot of things going on and how media just mess up our youth thinking. So our goal, as me and Lester, we try to help youth with all we can in, the, in everybody community. I, I range from Chicago, Illinois, to Mississippi, and now here in North Carolina, which I must admit, y'all give me much love, and I thank y'all. Oh, no problem. <laughs> So what about what about you? What what's your um, name? I'm I'm Lister Walls again, uh, vice president. Uh, we're basically like Steve said, you know, trying to improve the community, help you know our younger youth, our kids. You know, we can't just sit back and let some, think somebody else is going to do it. You know, so we decided to step up and do it ourselves. You know, and we encourage people to follow. You know? And I like to say to all my rappers out there, I love you. But please, let's do some more positive rapping out there, so these kids will stop thinking that this is the way of life they should do. Let them know you can't go overseas if you don't have no passport. Stop that. You ain't got a million dollars in your Escalade. You don't even know how much a million dollars away. So please. She, uh, we do this for Queen City. Big TC. Moe Diamond. Come on. Let me see ya. Queen City, now you can't hold us down, get out my damn